Let's start today's show with Darren, who's in Daytona Beach, Florida, for the opening of ARCA Driver Development Exhibit at the Daytona 500 Experience, which is the official attraction of NASCAR. Thanks, Jessica. Darren Gange here for SRT, and we're at the uh, ARCA Remax Series Driver Development Program, and we're here at uh, Daytona International Speedway. I'm here with Bob Coulter of the Sim Factory, developer of ARCA Remax Series Sim, and Brett Bortle, head of audio and visual for uh, the Daytona 500 Experience. How you guys doing? Doing good. Doing well. Right on. I'm great to be here with you guys, and man, this thing is awesome. You guys must be pretty excited about it. Yeah, I don't, I, we we're very excited about it. It's taken about a year and a half to get us this far, and uh, and a lot of hard work. Uh, I, we're real excited for ourselves, and you know, I think it'll be great for the sim, for the sim community, uh, obviously for the Arc Remax series, and I think we'll be able to pro provide a really cool experience for the, the guests of the. You know, yeah, I definitely agree with that. I, I took these things for a lap today, and they're they're pretty awesome, man. So. Uh, you know, this is the first time ARC has been in the 500 experience, and Brett, you had a big part of uh, putting this together, didn't you? Yeah, I was, uh, geez, it was a year and a half ago now. Um, basically, just sitting in my office one day, thinking about, man, what can we do to make this place, you know, that much better? You know, we have a lot of, obviously, great stuff in here, everything to do with racing, but, you know, I just really wanted to be able to provide a real racing experience for our guests that come every year. You know, we obviously host the Daytona 500, the Coke 400 in July, so, I mean, it's just... I just, hey, I found out about the software and I was like, hey, you know, I, I want to talk to these guys. I need to get a hold of them and called Bob one day and the rest, you know, the rest is history. Yeah, and you couldn't have picked a better piece of software to be in here, man. And he's, it's definitely, like we said on the uh, on the cover, best stock car simulation to date. So yeah, this is a big for Arca. This is the first time they've been here and I bet they're pretty stoked about this, huh, Bob? Yeah, yeah, I, I think they're real proud to be a part of this facility uh, and to have, you know, their mark at a track that they've, you know, run for a long time. Uh, as, as well as uh, you know, to, to provide some exposure to some of these you know young up and coming stars that drive in that series, uh, I think it'll be great to be able to bring some of them up during races and you know do some promotional stuff with them and and to, to let the guests of this place uh, get a chance to learn a little bit more about a, a series that really is you know turning out stars every year. And you know what, this is a great way for you know the public to check out what it's like to drive a stock car because this is you know as close as it's going to get for a lot of us. So. It's a great experience, so why don't we go uh, check it out, man? All right. Yeah. All right, we're here with Nick Steelman, a.k.a. Texas Hawk, another one of the developers of Arca Sim Racing. And why don't you tell us about these things, Nick? Well, we got the square tube chassis that's uh, custom built by the Adrenaline Corporation. We got custom gaming PC powering this whole thing by Adrenaline Computers. We got the ECCI. Fully adjustable, fully right? Adjustable. So Race, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh. We got the 5.1 surround sound, Logitech speaker system, Sweet. the butt kicker gamer, we got the Sim Gear shifter, 42 inch LCD monitors. Right on. So this thing's built to last, huh? Yeah, exactly. We probably drag this out to International out there and possibly survive a head on collision with the car. <laughs> I can imagine, man. This thing's built like a tank. So, But you got pretty excited too about this whole thing, huh? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable being the, you know, the home of stock car racing here in Daytona. Big deal, man. I, I mean, I'd be stoked if I were you guys. This is definitely big for sim racing, ARCA, the sim factory. Yeah, it really be bigger than this. I mean, it really solidifies us as a company as well. Yeah, no doubt. All right, well, thanks for telling us about it, Nick, and we're going to turn some laps in these things. All right, man. Boy, did we turn some laps in those adrenaline-built, one-of-a-kind sim racing rigs. As you can see here, we had a lot of fun with it, too. The four of us would go out together in the draft and then yell out, two to go. I ended up taking the first two races like that, and Brett, as you can see here, took this one. But the real excitement at the exhibit began the next day when it opened to the public. There was a non-stop stream of people wanting to give it a try. From young girls, older ladies and gentlemen, and then he arrived. Sim racing's version of Lauren Wallace, that kid from the Geico commercials. This little guy was about eight years old and as you can see, couldn't even reach the pedals without sitting about a foot away from the back of the seat. He was actually looking through the wheel, I think. I don't think he actually hit the wall for at least 20 laps and it only raced on his PlayStation, which was actually his dad's excuse for being beat by his son. Listen to him talk trash to his dad here. I don't have any footage of it, but after I shot this, I sat down on the rig next to him and told him, I'm coming after you, boy. He told me, well, I'll take you out. Well, long story short, he did. All in all, though, what a great exhibit for the public to really check out what we all love to do in that sim race. 
I don't know of any other display like it in the world where literally hundreds of thousands of race fans will see what we love to do in that sim race and actually have an opportunity to try it. The exhibit is right in the heart of the Daytona 500 experience and a lot of people come through here. Congratulations to the Sim Factory team for getting into Daytona. And from the looks of things and from the comments from all the employees that I talked to there, it's going to be there for a very long time. Just about everyone I talked to said, this is the best exhibit we've had here in years and I want one of these things at home. Hanging out there for the entire first day of it being open to the public, I saw countless smiles and people just amazed at the setup. Hopefully other tracks will start doing this around the world to further expand our growing sim racing community.